Hello, my lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if if you've been around for ages. I just am grateful that you chose me today. So, um, how is everyone? Are we all doing our best? That's all you can do. Let's do your best. And some days it's easier than other days, but I have faith in you. So, uh, happy Friday. Uh, Friday is certainly a day to celebrate for most people. Uh, to, you know, for those of us who uh, have a, a different kind of job or, or no job at all, it's just another day. And another day to be grateful for. So today I've got the Bella Rose box. That box is uh, bi-monthly and I have canceled it just I've gone through, now that we're through the um, the three month of the Battle of the Boxes, which uh, the winners will be on Monday, um, I went through and kind of ditched a few. Um, when we start up again, uh, the poll is, is pretty, um, yes, please, may we still do the, the Battle of the Boxes. Um, so when we go to do it again, um, I'll, I'll try to shake it up a little bit, do some different boxes. Um, I just, it's going to start to get boring, you know, if you're looking at the same box all the time, but I thought this was, uh, the price point of this one, I, was, I just let it go. So anyway, that's the scoop. We are not judging this box. We're just having a look at what's inside. So let's go over and have a look. So yesterday when my grandsons were here, um, the littlest one was sitting here and I said, Judah, be careful over there because there are sharp things. And I I had put away the the um, rotary cutter so I knew that was, he was pretty pretty safe over here. So we're, we're chatting along and he turns around and he's like, Nana, uh, is this, is that one of the sharp things? <laughs> yep, yep, Judah, that would, that would be, that would be one of the sharp things. <laughs> so let's use our sharp thing to open this box. And um, by, just because I'm not going to be getting this box anymore, um, it does not in any way reflect on the company or the, the store or anything like that. Um, many of you are definitely fans of this shop. So by all means, Continue to be so. I'm, I'm just letting a few things go. So, here we go. Sort of, kind of. We're almost, we're almost going. Now, now where are we going? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. That's just, that's just lovely. Oh. Okay, so the Bella Rose Quilt Society subscription box, especially for you. I hope you guys are, I hope you enjoy our third Bella Rose Quilt Society subscription box. This month's box features the Poppy Cotton Nature Sings collection. Tisca to Tasket pattern is perfect for this collection. I worked with Lori Woods of Poppy Cotton to ensure the fabric choices were perfect. Plus, Poppy Cotton gifted you a free pattern. Also included is the Creative Grids Half Rectangle Ruler. Uh, during this ret re retreat, you will... Okay, so she must be doing a retreat, too. You will learn how to use the ruler and make perfect basket handles to make. Hope you enjoyed this box. See you at the retreat. Uh, Sandy, so she's clearly having a retreat. So let's... Let's see what's in the box. Let me get my drink out of the way. Our girl loves a the theme and and ninety two. Okay, so this is the the half rectangle trim tool. Okay. 
the great thing about Creative Goods is they've got these little um, QR codes that if you scan them, they will uh, have a video to explain how to use them. So that's cool. Um, something in a little box. Oh, it's a um it's a zipper pull. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe you can't see it in the in the Z bag with the glare. Come on, come on up. There we go. Super cute, little baskety thing. Hmm. I there's a there's a table runner finishing kit, and 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 this looks like it. Basket charm. It was cute wrapped up all in this. This little box, you know, I'm all about the presentation. Okay, this appears to be a cookie. Looks good. Looks like a yummy cookie. Buttercream frosted sprinkle cut out cookie. Okay, so, oh, there they are. The little, the little tisket a tasket table runner. That's cute. That's really cute. 54, oh, the table runner is 54 by 19, and the throw is 54 by 54. Optional border for, for throw size. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that's cool. This is a, it looks like a block of the month. And another pattern of Forget Me Not. That's a lot. 45 fat quarters. Confident Beginner, 72 by 84. That's a good size quote. Cool, okay. Fabrico. There's also a bingo bingo card in here. Bingo. Oh, this is the retreat. Okay. You are cordially invited to the virtual retreat on Saturday, June 8th at 2 p.m. If you can't make this time, they will record it for viewing. In the bing in the, in your box is a bingo card. Hold on to this as we will be playing bingo at the retreat. There will be prizes. Uh, I will be communicating through email and the Bella Rose Quilt Society Facebook group. Be sure to ask to join the group. Okay, so now we have Poppy Cotton Nature Sings Fat Eighth Bundle. Making some room here. Okay. Poiple. More like lavender. That's cute. I really like that blue background. You know, and there's got to be a mustard. There was a rule that was put out amongst designers that this year there had to be a mustard and this one is a, a good one a 
next one says something always. I always, the word is always um, Harry Potter to me, you know, Snape and how you loved Harry's mom and always. These are cute. The little, the um, <clears throat> nature sings is what it's called. And it's got this little bird down here and he's singing something. I can't tell what's in there, but that's cute. Sorry, my bracelet's making all kinds of noise. My husband, bought it for me in Minnesota and it's all the stones that you find along the beaches in Minnesota. There's amethyst, there's basalt, there's tamsinite, there's more basalt, uh, there's agates, there's more agates and um, yeah so I can always have the lake near me. You know, I've not really ever been much of a fan of poppy cotton because it's just not generally the kind of fabric that I am are drawn towards. But this is a really pretty bundle and there is a lot of it. Poppy Cotton is also an incredibly cute name. Oh, cute. Oh. Birds and flowers and... That's really cute. It says barefoot always. I am always barefoot, literally always barefoot. Shoes feel foreign to me. And I always have been, even as a little girl, my mother always had to say, where are your shoes? Did you put your shoes on? Where are your shoes? But I, I must have been fairly economical because uh, I think I, especially in the summer, I only recall having one pair of like tennis shoes and that was it. <clears throat> cute. This is really a cute line of fabric. And so much of it, even just fat eighths, that's just a lot. You could do a lot with this. Oh, this is more. And as is this, so this must be the finishing kit she, she spoke of. Well, that's it. It feels weird to not be grabbing the let's, let's vote, but we're not voting. We're just looking, just looking. So I'll see you at the other camera. Very pretty box. She is a lovely very feminine aesthetic and it's it shows on the on her choices in her box um <clears throat> she also does a lovely job of presentation of putting everything all together in the in the box so um yeah i'm gonna give it away <laughs> so uh let's see um let's use the word rose um and so in, in the comment section of this video, leave the word rose in a comment. And um, yeah, I try to be like real on it. Like, okay, I'm going to choose the winner on this specific day. And I know that that would make your life much easier. Um, but I, I always forget that that's the day I'm going to do it. Um, I, I drive my assistant crazy also. <laughs> I apologize. But um 
I, I'm going to say that I'm going to pick the, the winner on Tuesday, next Tuesday, uh, and, and I'm going to do my best to make that happen. So um, in the comment section, the word rose and... Um, yeah, it shall be yours. $10 shipping. Info will all be in the description box. Um, somebody somebody ought to have the poppy cotton and love it the way it deserves to be loved. So <laughs> anyway. Um I need some I need some support from you guys. Um Dandelion is not doing very well. Um she has always had digestive issues always we've struggled with diarrhea from date sorry that's tmi um from really when she was a puppy but for the most part we can we got her on the right food and she only really has little episodes of it once in a while and i'm sure that part of it was triggered by us going on vacation um but for the last couple of days uh she's been having that but today uh, I, I got up and Tom was already up and he said, Dandelion is not doing very well. And my heart kind of stopped. And, um, she is having a really hard time walking on her back. Uh, it doesn't matter to you. I think it's her back left leg. Um, and it appears to be her hip and she can't sit. She can, she can lay down. She kind of like flops into a, a laying down position. Uh, she can put very little weight on it. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what she's done. She's almost never out alone. And Tom can't think where, you know, that she ran and did anything. But um, our vet can't get her in until Tuesday. Um, what, I, what is up with the shortage of vets? I, I'm, of doctors even, nurses, ever. it's like, Everybody's making a mass exodus to some other profession. Um, but they, we can give her something for the pain until she gets to be seen on Tuesday. Um, and we'll pick up some more digestive food and uh, hopefully we can keep her comfortable until she goes. Um, unfortunately, I watch a lot of vet shows and, um, and I'm scared. <laughs> Let's just lay it right out there, flat out. I'm, I'm scared. She's, um, she's gonna be six in July. That is by no means an old dog, but she's a big dog. So, I don't know. But um, that's the story. If you could just send some healing vibes to Dandelion, um, I would greatly appreciate it. Whatever kind of prayers, um, good feelings, you've got to send. Um, we'd be real happy to to take them. Uh, she's laying, sleeping right now. Um, and she's not, she's happy. I mean, she's not acting like she's whining or in pain in that way. She just can't really put any weight on that, that leg. So fingers crossed that it's old dog arthritis or I don't know, but, um, it seems to be her hip. So it could be dysplasia. And anyway, Thanks for listening and for sending your support to our little mascot, Dandelion. So anyway, uh, I don't have any moment of Zen for today. Um, it, it isn't, it isn't, I, and unfortunately I could usually use a moment of Zen, but uh, I just to haven't back loaded up enough pictures of sweetness so i am going to go see river this afternoon though so there may be river pictures soon <laughs> so um be well be safe <laughs> see you love you bye we'll make that one work love you bye